Hi guys, Michael Luckadoo here. For those of you that don't already know me, I've been a home builder for a big chunk of my life and have built a couple thousand homes for other people. I'm also an owner builder advocate as I've seen some really great results from people building their own home without my help or any other builder's help in managing the process. At least part of these folks' motivation is to build their own home to get the price down to something they can afford. Sure, they love the idea of being in control of the project to select the design they want or use the products that they want in the house or to have complete control over the start and finish. But at the end of the day, cost savings are the big motivator for most owner builders. So in this video, I wanna share with you the latest numbers showing what the potential savings are for the owner builder today. So there are many ways that owner builders save money on their new home. They can manage the process themselves, provide some of the physical labor themselves, and find closeout deals on materials. So in most cases, the biggest savings can be had by taking on the role of the builder general contractor and hiring and managing the tradespeople who will build the home. Professional builders make money by hiring subcontractors to build a home, and then they manage this process and then charge a fee to their customers for that. Now, for the big national builders, this fee comes in the form of a markup they charge over and above their costs. If we know these markup numbers from these builders, we'll get an idea of the potential money that can be saved by taking this role on as an owner builder. So I want to share with you the numbers that came out this past week from one of the nation's largest home builders, and actually they're the largest. Now, first, let me say that they're still making record profits through this latest quarter. Yes, the real estate market is starting to soften, but based on these financials that I'm about to share with you, new home pricing for the more affordable homes really haven't softened much yet, at least through this last quarter. So let's dive right into the numbers. And just so you know, I'm taking these numbers directly from DR Horton's financials published this past week for the latest quarterly earnings release. Now, the gross profit percentage for the quarter was 30.1% on an average sales price of 391,000. Now on this sales price with that margin, we get a cost of 273,000 with a profit per home of 117,300. So this means that the builder is marking up costs 42.85%. You heard that right. They're marking up the cost of the house of the homes they build 43% essentially. So anyone who buys a new home from this builder is paying them an average of $117,000 over and above cost for them to manage the build. So it's important to mention that the biggest builders in the country do get volume discounts. Now this mostly applies to materials in both upfront negotiated pricing and through rebates given back to them based on the volume of materials they purchase. So how do I know this? Because I actually worked for a national builder for almost a decade. But at the end of the day, the biggest material cost that goes into a new home is lumber. And lumber is a commodity product. So there's only so much discounting that can be done on a commodity product like lumber. I'd also argue that the big builders like Horton don't have the ability to buy closeout material like owner builders do. And I've talked about this before uh, with my owner builder students, but the big builders just don't have the time to do that. So let's take countertops as one example. If you have the extra time to go down to the granite or quartz slab supplier and pick out remnants, which are leftover pieces from other jobs, this can save you up to 60% on your countertop budget. Now this can really add up to huge savings depending on the size of the house. Now we did this on a recent new home build and saved over $4,000 and that was a small home. Again, big builders, they just don't have the time to do this and even if they did, they wouldn't pass the savings on to you, the buyer. Now I have another student that found a really high-end entry door system that was ordered for a custom home that was ultimately never used. So the door system was never installed and it was basically brand new, right? So the supplier just needed to unload that and he got the door for 70% off the original price. Now these types of savings can be huge for the owner builder and can be applied to almost every material cost line item in the budget. So builders also have the ability to negotiate with trade contractors because they give them reoccurring business. But as we all know, the labor market, it's strained right now. And so really how much discounting can these subcontractors provide to these builders because they're fighting at the same time for a limited number of quality people to do the work for them. Now, when these subcontractors provide discounts, they're essentially eating into their own profit margins. So to combat this, there really are ways that owner builders can get their own discounts for labor on their build. First, they can work with friends or relatives that are in the business. I had a buddy that did the concrete work for my last home and he did an amazing quality job at an affordable price. 
or maybe you have a relative that works for a lighting company or a flooring store. These can add up to savings. And these are just a couple of the ideas of how you can fight the labor differences between the big guys, the builders, and an owner builder. So some of you guys out there might be saying, why not just use these people to save extra money when going with the pro builder? Well, because builders typically won't let you. Now, in most cases, builders have loyalties and relationships with their own trades or subs and suppliers, and they won't let you provide your own. Now, in some cases, builders have annual contracts that just won't let them out to use other trades or suppliers. Now, that brings me to the other way that owner builders save money on labor, by providing their own sweat equity. Now, painting, cleaning, trim carpentry, maybe even vinyl plank installation. I installed silt fence required by the city on my last house. You know the stuff, that black stuff that's about this tall that keeps the dirt on the site. I saved $1,500 just by doing this one simple, simple task myself. Now, I put that money back into more energy efficient windows, score. So let me be, be perfectly clear here, guys. I'm not chastising the builders for making a profit. I think they deserve what they charge. Now, I've said this before, Apple marks up their products by an average of 75%, but nobody complains about the price of their iPhone or tablet. Now, compared to Apple, the 43% home builder markup really doesn't sound so bad. So to wrap up this conversation, guys, I don't expect owner builders to save 43% when building their own home. I do, however, think that this is a great starting point for owner builders to see what the potential savings are for anyone looking to take on this complicated, time-consuming project of becoming the general contractor for their own dream home. That's it for today, guys. This is Michael Luckadoo with OwnerBuilderClass.com.